<laughs> Hello my friends, it's Ferris Jacqueline. Hello my friends, it's Ferris and welcome back to my channel. Today is another Horse Haven video and we have a huge racing event going on. I don't know if you are aware, but it has been going on for at least a week and a half, I think. Two weeks? Uh, but I haven't made a video about it and I think that was because there were a few technical difficulties and I'm starting to really get excited for it because of this horse breed here. This is the Alkalteka and this horse is doing really good in the horse race as you will see here shortly. But basically this is a horse racing event. You're able to race other people's horses in the game and you basically are racing for the breeding certificates for two special magical horses. So, and I don't know if you like can turn the, I'm sure you can turn those breeding receipts in if you don't get the 80, cause that is a lot. Especially because there were so many technical difficulties I think before this, this horse breed came out. So basically I've been breeding for the horse breed. I've been trying to work for it. This is a tier one uh, full, but I actually do have a tier two like they were selling in the beginning as you saw. So I did go ahead and get to breed this tier two mythic, mythic horse and we are gonna race him today in today's video and we're gonna see how well he does. So basically you gotta go to your map and it's right there. This is the season one, so this is new. Uh, and as you see, he has a plus 5% boost in, in racing. Um, but honestly, he does really good, so. I don't know, is it 5%? Feels like it's more. I've been doing this race a lot and I've been a little discouraged because every horse I race with it seems like I get sixth place a lot. Sixth, fifth, and fourth place, I am getting a ton. Uh, but as you'll see here, I, I that changes. So you do have to be really careful. There are three possibilities where you could get uh, a speed boost, one at the start of the race, and then two in the race. So you'll see you can get a good, a perfect, or I don't know what it is. I forget what it's called in the yellow. Uh, but hey, he's first place. Wow. <laughs> so I raced him with the second hardest race. So I'm gonna race him now in a second with the hardest race. And we'll see how he does. Uh, there we go. So we're doing the rarefied race now, as you can see. And the pictures make you believe that you get more prizes, better prizes the harder race you do. So. Something that was a little interesting to me with this race is originally when it first came out, I thought that you would be racing real people in real time. All these horses standing next to me were other people's real horses. They were on the game and they were clicking the buttons at the same time as I was, but that is actually not the case. If you read the fine print, these are all other people's horses, but they are computers. They, no one's clicking the buttons. You're just racing other users' horses in the game. Here we are, first place again. Look at that boost. Look how well he is doing. So if you take anything from this video, please try to get this horse breed. I am allowing people to add me on a public Facebook account. I will link it in the description. You can go ahead and try to breed my horses to get this horse breed with your horses. Hopefully it happens now. These pink boxes take a long time to open, hours and hours and hours. So it may be best for you. Oh, let me show you this. Okay, Casper. So I'm gonna race him, I'm gonna show you the difference. The game is telling me in this horse list that this is my second best horse to race, okay? He's a tier one, I do have tier three horses, but for some reason he's popping up as second. So I've just found that I race him and he actually does the best out of everyone aside from Omar now. So I have tried a lot of different things. I've tried tier three horses. They don't seem to do any better. <laughs> So I, I don't know. So here we are, start of the race. Make sure you don't miss this one. Sometimes I accidentally miss this one, but there we go. I got a good, uh, here we go, we're gonna race. All right, so all you do is you just have to click and then tap and try to get, oh, and I got a perfect. Okay, so a perfect should really give you a boost, but that gave me literally nothing. I would love to see a great in between good and perfect. That would have been really nice. So hopefully they can implement that into the next seasons. So here you go. I am sixth place yet again. I just find that very strange that I am sixth place. 
So my suggestion would just be to race with the Alcateca, try to get yourself a tier two because this tier two is doing really well for me. And yeah, try to try to breed it. If you wanna buy it, you can buy it. Try to feed it so it gets those lightning bolts and you can just race again, but just race with this horse. Don't try racing with any other horses. Just race with this one. I find the 5% increase a little strange. I feel like it's way more than that, but who knows? <laughs> there is a pure breeding event going on, so it gives you a higher possibility of getting a higher tier when you breed two horses of the same breed together. So definitely use that <laughs> to your advantage. So this is my friend that I bred with, and hopefully she has a tier two horse that I can breed my tier two horse with, and it'll all just be fine and dandy. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. I'll definitely be doing at least one more video on this racing event to let you know how it ends for me. And I'll see you with the next Horse Haven video. All right, goodbye, my friends.